In this video, I will show you how you can create product sets for your most recent products, your best selling products, products on sale, and uh, product sets for various uh, product tags that you might have inside your WooCommerce website. Now, when you create or when you edit a feed, I will just edit this Facebook feed. You have this section right here, smart tags. Now, you can add the recent product tag to your most recent 12 products or another value, and uh, the top 30 days tag to your best selling 12 products or a different value. You can edit this. These two tags will go under custom label zero. Custom label zero is also used for the on sale tag. Now, we add this on sale tag to all your products that have a sales price. Custom label one will um, get all the default product tags. So if you have um, a tag to your product, they will go under custom label one. You also have custom label two, three, and four, and you can use them to um, add extra information, something that you, I don't know, you need. So this is how you can configure a recent product on sale top 30 days on the custom label zero and um, automatically custom label one with output uh, normal tags. This information you go here uh, inside your catalog manager uh, open sets and create a new set using filters. Let's create a, a product set for um, the most recent products. You go here and select custom label zero contains um, recent product. and create. My feed was configured with 30 products. I should turn off my phone. Um, okay. Actually, I have only four uh, recent products. Again, this is a testing website with 30 variants. So, now I can create uh, another product set for best selling. Top. Top sales. Select custom label zero. Contains uh, top 30 days and create. I only have one product because I don't have uh, real cells, but you will have um, the number you specify in the plugin, in the feed plugin settings. So again, this is a demo website. And another product set for uh, on sale, custom label zero, Contain contains on sale. And these are my products that have a, a sales price. And now I create um, recommended products. That's because I have a tag um, added to just one or three two products I don't remember uh, uh, called recommended. So I want to select custom label one contains recommended. Okay, so I have four recommended products. So now I have all these um, product sets inside my product catalog. They are quite useful. First of all, they will um, update dynamically. So uh, if I add new products, 
I will have uh, those new products uh, in, in the recent product set. Uh, sales are um, updated, of course, and uh, uh, tags, well, if you add more tags, you can, uh, under this, if you add more products under this recommended tag, uh, they will be um, displayed here in the product set. Now, what you can do with the product sets, you can uh, promote them, advertise set, but you can also use them to customize your Facebook shop. I will make a different video show, showing you how you can uh, customize your uh, Facebook shop using uh, product sets. So again, product sets are quite useful. And uh, these are just some examples of things you can do. I, th I think I have another video showing you how to create product sets for um, uh, product category.